Anyway. What? No, you, you yeah, hold on. Let me just finish this off. Bro, you're assuming white people are proud of or or of other white people's slave trading history just take his bonkers? No, it's not. That's fucking idiotic. Nazis don't like being called Nazis. Just like racists don't like being called whip crackers. Okay? That is such a fucking stupid take. Racist people don't like to be called Nazi because that means you're a bad person. Okay? You're a bad person because of your white supremacist ideas. Or you're a bad person because of your racist ideas. You get that, right? It has nothing to do with, like, being... Uh, being proud of that fucking history, okay? They aren't meanie words. They're literally racist slurs. You are defending literal interpersonal racism. Okay, dude. Sure. At this point, you should just embrace and be like, yep, I'm fucking anti-white racist because the babies who legit say you're anti-white aren't going to let up. I know, it's a fucking laughable and ridiculous notion. Why is it okay to shit on someone for being white if they're an asshole? No, you're shitting on them for being an asshole, not because they're, you're shitting on them for being white. Oh my God, dude. 21-month fucking subscriber, dude. Holy fucking shit. Okay, you know what? 21 month subscriber, get in the fucking Discord. Let's let's have your fucking big debate brain conversation. You've been an active member of this community for 21 fucking months. You've been a subscriber for 21 months. Get in the Discord. Let's let's hash it out. It's I don't know if you're being serious or not, but I would love to hear your point of view, okay? Oh fuck, Maya's here. I can't even do this. God damn it. Hold on. Okay, it'll be a quick one. I'm loading Discord now. I made your take into a... Into a meme just to stick with this discussion. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Yeah. hopped into the gaming lobby okay i'm almost done i have to i have to like quickly have this conversation i mean you can be here if you want i'm i just i have to address it because i have a 21 month subscriber in here who's like dude why is it okay to shit on someone for being white just because they're an asshole or why is it like he is he is like losing his fucking mind he thinks like cracker is a directional and serious racist take Oh, it's coming from your... I was like, where the fuck is this coming from? Yeah. He's been in here for 21... He's been in here for 21 fucking months. Okay, I'm going in. And. Okay. All right. All right. Have fun. <laughs> you're, I'm assuming Yo, you're honest. Euro chatter, right? It has to be. Yeah, dude, obviously, man. I, I have said multiple times in other chats throughout this that I want you to be on the internet. I appreciate the work you okay, do. Okay, wait, where are you from? Where uh, are you calling from? Boston. Oh, you're, and oh God, okay, the uh, there we go, well, now, now I get why, of, now I get why you're so heated about Cracker. I, no, well, I mean, I'm mixed race, I'm black, I'm white, but I don't oh, really, God. like, okay, let's hear well, it. Come on, man, okay, well, my whole thing is just, looking at Not Your Average African's original comment is just what mm -hmm. I was looking at, where it's like, he's like, get fucked, Cracker. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand why that's okay, that's literally, no, it's, it's inappropriate, it's okay. do you think it's ban worthy? Because it's not an it's not an appropriate say. application to the term cracker, considering that like Max is racist. He's a Trump supporter. Uh, he's working alongside yeah. cops. That doesn't change the reality that uh, you know 
it's it's not like he's not calling him a cracker because he's like directly being racist in that moment. However, yeah, do you think it's appropriate for him to be banned for it? Not necessarily. No, I I just don't. Okay, then I we agree. I don't understand why, why we have to okay. argue over it because you want to know why. I literally was spamming because I just wanted to hear your. Okay, but do you, do you understand awesome. the difference yeah, then? The if you don't think he's supposed to be banned, then it's not a severe racial term. Do you understand? It's no, not a severe then, racial time, term, and the reason for why it's not a severe racial term is because it is not associated with any sort of serious subjugation with it. Do you understand? All right, can I, can I respond really quick? Okay, go um, ahead. I was watching. I was watching X, and he said, "Why would you encourage your audience to call people this or to say things like this?" I don't. And that's kind of my. But in, there's a difference insane, between me defending someone for defending people getting banned for the usage of the term "cracker" in a platform that already is like incredibly white that I would like the platform to be more accommodating to, um, you know, non-white folks specifically, that doesn't, that accommodation doesn't have to revolve around allowing people to use the crack, uh, the term cracker willy nilly. But the real reason is most people that are fucking upset by this, the overwhelming majority, I think if you've been in here for 21 months, you probably recognize this are people who are being incredibly fragile. Most white people that you talk to, including myself, do you, do you consider I'm white? Do you consider myself to be a white person? Uh what? I mean, kind of, but not, I mean, it, okay, but I don't really think about it that way. You know, do you think I have white privilege? But sure. I mean, you are white presenting, and I think most do you, people. Do you, don't how, know I don't know how you pale are. you are, but do you think your you being mixed race gives oh, you I'm more privilege people. than I'm like immediately black? Nah, I'm no? like a big black dude, man. Nah. Okay. Unfortunately, I wish I, my whole life. I'm, so you wish. I, so you okay? But that. you're black, so you recognize you recognize that there is there are benefits to presenting as white, right? Oh, yeah, correct. I would never dispute that. Yeah, of Okay, course. so you do recognize white privilege. Good. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I'm not sitting over here, like, on the, like, centrist, like, fence of, of this issue, man. Like, I completely agree that people would use that term to, uh, to vent their anger towards systemic oppression. I just don't, at the same time, I also don't think... Like, I want to live in a world where people are shitting on people for this, like, color of their skin. And I want, I get uh, nervous that the implication of what your, like, defense is in the situation, people can infer that and think it's okay to do that. Okay. You've been in here for 21 months. You're already aware of the, the many amount of times that I've drawn ire from, you know, uh, black communities like Black Twitter or Nicki Minaj stands, you're aware of this, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What do they, what is the number one thing that they say when, when I, you know, criticize Nicki Minaj or, you know, say some shit like, uh, not pull off like a good fit or something. And then black Twitter's like, yo, this dude's racist. What do they say? What do they say specifically? What I is mean, the number one kinda... thing that they always say? To be honest, I, I don't know what the trope would be. I, I know that they, they call me a cracker. You... They do like no, that's what I was about to say. I was just going to say, I know they bring you up as a white boy. Yeah. I say, I, they say aging at the speed of white, which is pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. I and that I'm a that fucking one. saltine Sally. It's a good line, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It, saltine Sally. Uh, and yeah. that I am a cracker, right? I would never say cracker is severe. You know, I, I would say it myself. I think it's kind of. Nuts okay. So you and I are both in agreement then. It. So you and I, I are in agreement. Like we're in agreement. My only problem, man, is I just hope you're not using your platform where people can interpret your message in a way where they think it's okay. Like, where, where the dishonest people, right, who are going to spin this, hear you saying it's okay to shit on somebody in this way. Okay, right? so uh, quick question. What, what, what do you mean when you say, like, dishonest people? You mean, like, dishonest people of color that the are going to start the using the term no, cracker? No, the people, no, the people who want you off the internet. Like the people who are going to listen to this and be like, all right, what's this Hassan dude saying now? Okay, how can I turn this into, oh, look, guys, all along, he's just... That's going to happen uh, regardless, no matter what I say. Hate. So my question is, yeah. why does... But that is entirely different. I don't care about people that are going to use anything and everything I say against me to market me as like a horrifying monster. That happens on a daily basis. Uh, to protect me is, is a kind uh, attitude, but that's not necessarily what you were saying in your chat logs. You were... Uh, relatively combative in a way where you wanted to debate and it seemed like you had a more you know it, it seemed like you had a serious uh you know uh i don't know that i want to debate over clarity i i just had well i mean you were asking questions in a way where it seemed like you wanted 
further qualification. Uh, I mean, you wanted me to further explain my position to you. Um, yeah, and I have. Necessarily mean I'm looking for combat. I'm just looking for. I literally just wanted to hear you on the record on that one and make sure that people could hear your answer to that question. It's not like a haha got ya. Oh, look, you think it's okay. I don't think you think it's okay, but I didn't hear your explanation as to why. Well, because I. And I've said this already, and I think maybe you might have missed it because you kept spamming the I same question did. over and over again. But what did I say? Oh, well, I mean, I was listening at the same time. Pejoratives, no pejoratives, no matter what the, the quality is, with, if they are not tied to contemporary or historic oppression, okay, especially systemic oppression, well, they're just mean words, okay? So that's Agreed. the thing that most people do. The thing that most people do whenever we have this conversation is immediately rob uh, the, the, the argument from one of its basic premises, which is that it is not as severe as other kinds of hateful, targeted, bigoted words. Most people recognize that, okay? I think you certainly recognize that, that Cracker itself is nowhere near as severe as the N-word, and it's yeah, not even as severe as other kinds of other forms of racist, bigoted language that are that that certainly target uh, a group of individuals on uh, uh, immutable characteristics, right? Even ableism. Right, I agree. Do, would you say that uh, the R word is is worse than cracker? Or yeah, do you yeah, think? Yeah, no, I, I discourage people from using the R word. Okay, so so I think for and yeah, and you understand the reason for that. I think right? I've been so I've been stream hopping a little bit right in the early hours before you go live. And I think one of the more common criticisms I've heard lately is like, this reminds people of how once they're just like seen as somebody worthy of disrespect in your eyes, it's okay to kind of shit on them. Like uh, police, for example, it's okay to call them like inflated hot dogs, because we don't agree with, uh, you know, what they represent. And Wait, that's I actually a really good that. analogy. Well, I mean, it because it, it's even less of a like an actual, well-defined uh, uh, a group of individuals uh, on like immutable characteristics. It's just that's a job, right? That's even uh, in, that's in a way. I mean, immutable characteristics being like I can't change the fact that I have an inflatable hot dog head, right? Well, I mean, that's right, but uh, I, I don't and, like, think you unironically are advocating for police for knowledge, right? Because, like, that's a joke. When I say <laughs> no, cops no, no. go... I'm just saying when you say that shit, you catch chatters in the crossfire who have an inflated hot dog head, right? And, like, I just... That okay. kind of sucks. Like, why would we encourage people to use insults like that that aren't so, targeted? So you're, you're not just advocating for cleaning up uh, the term cracker. You think, like, almost all, kind of, all kinds of <laughs> pejoratives need to be solved. And, and cleaned you know, up. I just think we need to think about when we're using that shit and who we catch in the crossfire. Like, I'm a big boy. I don't want to necessarily feel shitty about being a big boy every time somebody who's a big boy comes on screen and then you have, like, an excuse to make some big boy jokes. We're both big boys. We know how that feels. Yeah. I've talked about fat shaming before, but remember, like, I, I still am a mean person, especially when I'm punching up, right? And I always... Yeah try to specify as best as I can that a lot of this does not apply to you, the individual, even when I'm doing, when I'm going on these fucking rants specifically about, uh, you know, certain people in the chat even, and everyone's like, oh, I'm catching a stray here. Well, you know, this is not about you. You are not this vile human being, right? Just like your then, like, big boyness is not the same as, machine? you know, a, a fucking a Thumbelina ass cop. Now, the reason yeah, why I'm shitting on that... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I'm the reason why I'm shitting on that cop when I have this conversation uh, is because, you know, cops do have cop skull. It's cop phrenology. It's, it's science. It's scientific racism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's, it's just a, I, I it's a way I, to be petty. It's a way to be petty. It's a way to be petty. I'm not a nice person, yeah. but no one is a nice person. Actually, a lot of entertainment value comes from somewhat being a mean person to those who are in a position of power over you or over others and are abusing it cops do it regularly which is why i mean the cops in a lot of instances i i've never said that i'm not a mean person that i'm a, i'm a pc streamer or that i am super careful i'm super careful when it comes to certain categories okay yeah. and i don't think that like protecting the feelings of white people that would be so fragile that they would actually get sad 
and assume that I hate them because of my usage of the term cracker, which is not even a fucking word I've ever used until literally this past weekend where I've just used it a million times over now. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. Like that is a ridiculous sentiment. Yeah, no, it, my, my whole point is more what I was saying before. It's just like the overlap between this and like what we might encourage, like in the people who are listening and stuff like that. I just, I, you know, you got a lot of people who feel very vitriolic towards those who are of means and like, look, look towards you as an outlet to vent or feel that like frustration in a group setting and I just hope that we don't encourage them to push people away from building bridges and like building the left and expanding on what we're trying to do. Okay. But again, having a broader approach and saying, Hey man, I think that, uh, you know, your attitude or you saying cracker is like hurting the left is an entirely different conversation than being like, why are you shitting on max or why are you using the term cracker? And I feel like I've described it a million times over as to why I don't think it's as harmful as other types of pejoratives or other types of like actually hateful and bigoted slurs, right? And that my goal ultimately is to shake people's white fragility and to redirect their attention away from identity politics, white identity politics specifically, because every time a person says cracker is a Cracker is a bigoted, hateful terminology. They are basically doing white identity politics. Not basically, they're, that's precisely what they're doing. I want them to shake themselves of that white identity politics and hyper-focus on class instead. The reason why I don't do that for other subgroups, the reason why I don't do that, for example, for black people in a similar capacity is because black identity politics is tied to historic forms of oppression. White identity politics, on the other hand, is historically tied to domination, subjugation of right. others, which is why it's right. terrifying to me when white people uh, gain on that entry point and dip their little toes back in to the white identity politics of advocating uh, against the systemic oppression of whites uh, by the utilization of the word cracker, because that is a lot of white people, both in this community and especially on Reddit, dipping their toes back into maybe white people are oppressed on the virtue of whiteness. And that's fucking terrifying. You should recognize that as a black person, especially. Uh, especially yeah, no, in a place I, like I fucking Boston. I, no, I get what you're saying on that. And I mean, I deal with that every day at the school that I work with, at the school that I work at. Um, but yeah, I, I was going more in the direction of just caring about how you get interpreted making sure i'm really clear on where you stand on that so that i'm not misinterpreting you as being okay with like shitting on somebody just for being white because they represent the oppressor right no. um and yeah more clarity i'm glad that i got to ask you the question about where you stand and get a little more clarity around like the inflatable hot dog kind of comments because yeah i don't know it's just i i know you come from a good place and whenever i read uh one of your viewpoints in an unfavorable way i always assume that it's either a caveat you might not have thought of yet or it's something that i miss in the nuance that you approach or you know it's something that was this a little bit more it, it, like after having this conversation do you feel like your point of view has changed or do you still think that i'm like uh you know i'm I just you know i just I, hate white people <laughs> no, I never thought you thought that, by the way, okay? Like, I would not be in chat asking you questions if I thought that. The only reason I'm in chat asking questions is because I care to figure out where you're at and make sure that, you know, I still... What? Oh, wait, are you hearing yourself? Oh, is there echo? He... No, he went to AFK. Oh. I can drag him back. Wait, hold on. Yo, hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Out there? Yeah, well, I, I can hear you. I don't know what just happened there. We lost you for a second. Okay. Uh, no, I never thought that about you. I just wanted to gain some understanding about where you're at, and I wanted to... I'm glad we had the opportunity to speak, because it's like, okay, well, I wanted to at least present that point of view of, hey, some people are hearing you in this way where you think it's okay to shit on people, so I hope that they hear it differently. I don't think you necessarily needed to change my point of view, I just, it's the way the internet is listening to you that I hope 
can eventually shoot. <laughs> Especially on this issue, if you continue to get stun locked on it. Well, I mean, this issue uh, is is not one that is going to be immediately. Uh, this is not one that's going to change people's minds. I think people have like very. I think people have like uh, you know their own biases. It's very difficult to to chip away at white supremacist attitudes in a country like America, especially if uh, it manifests in like really hidden ways. I personally, like I said, believe that this is a, a way to defend white rights and engage in white identity politics. Right. Uh, right, and, so you're looking and, at this as just being ever vigilant against that. Yeah, type and that's of thing precisely and why I things. advocate. <laughs> Sorry, there's they're memeing already. <laughs> oh wow! Well, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh oh. <laughs> What's the memes, dude? You have like thirty thousand people watching you. What's the memes? <laughs> and they're saying when your dad drops slurs of the DMV and and making fun of uh, me and Maya sitting here. Maya's here. Anyway, look, oh, hello, white supremacy, white supremacy is deeply, deeply rooted. It's embedded in all of our institutions. I think I don't need to tell you that you you've been in here for 21 months and, you know, you've experienced it personally your entire life. So you recognize it. Um, I, I am terrified at the uh, the majority. I'm terrified at like how quickly uh, people would mobilize and take an incredibly reactionary approach to this issue and engage in white identity politics. You, I, I can't stress this enough. I need you to understand this point because this is the fundamental point here. I believe in intersectional, uh, I, I believe in intersectionality, okay? I believe in intersectional feminism. I believe in intersectionality and class needs to be featured in that. But whiteness as a concept, which was totally made up and created to, cre uh, to, created to address a dominant, in group is not a part of that intersectionality you can yeah, be yeah, a part yeah. of that I intersectionality as a worker as a working class individual yeah. you can be a part of that as a someone who's lgbt but like white on its own is not a personality trait just like white culture is not a real thing uh and it's yeah. not a real personality trait and black culture is one I that was the... created within that oppression yeah, I think the nuance most people are missing from what I'm gathering is that they don't understand that you see uh, the stance you're taking and, and doubling down and putting your foot in the ground as making sure that white identity politics doesn't gain any more ground. Um, so clarifying that for me helps me understand where you're coming from. I hope it does the same for other people for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. I hope people understand it. Thank you for coming on. Um, all right. Yeah, man. All right, have a good day. Yeah, I'll still be in chat. I'm glad that uh, it didn't turn into, I was like a little terrified, but it no, was nice chat. I, I'm not gonna do that. All right, talk to you, man. Okay. Thanks again. All right, bye. How is this systemic though? I'm actively being- Stop. Okay. Holy fuck. Okay, there's so many people that wanna, they want the smoke now, look. <laughs>